Tsukuna agrees to heal Yuji. He'll use reverse curse technique and bring him back to life. If you'll recall, Yuji kicked the bucket after getting his heart ripped out of his chest. In return, Yuji will give Tsukuna control of his body for one full minute. However, there are some conditions on this. First of all, Tsukuna gets to decide when, and it's with a keyword. That word is in chain. Secondly, when Tsukuna is in control, he is not allowed to harm anyone. And third, Yuji is not allowed to remember that he even made this binding vow. So now let's flash forward to the events of season two. Tsukuna takes over Yuji's body and absolutely devastates Shibuya. So I've had a lot of people ask me, doesn't this violate the terms of the binding vow? Shouldn't he face dire consequences for this? And the answer is no, because he didn't violate the binding vow. Again, the binding vow is only enacted when Tsukuna chants the word in chain, and then that minute will begin of him taking over Yuji, and that minute is where he is not allowed to harm anyone. 